Hey guys, you just watched a little bit of my car subwoofers in action. And I just wanted to talk about having uh, car audio in your home surround or in your home. I'm actually running almost a full complete, well not a full complete, but I'm running a lot of car audio in my surround sound. Uh, subwoofers is what you guys just watched. I'm running uh, five subs, 15 inch uh, car um, audio, I'm sorry, 15 inch Audio Legion car subwoofer. I'm running two 10 inch 12, I mean two 10 inch NVX subs and two 12 inch, 12 inch NVX subs. The NVX subs are all being powered by Crown Amps. I have an XLI 1500 running the 12s and XLI, XLI 2500 running the 10s. The 10s are actually beefier, more powerful than the 12s. Anyhow, I'm running uh, also my front stage there is a couple of Bose 501 Series 4 cabinets. Um, I completely turned those into my own speakers, Frankenstein speakers, with car subs and car mid range and a Goldwood tweeter. My rear surrounds are also with 8 inch uh, Scar Audio um, mids and a couple of car t uh, tweeters in each, each of the boxes. And my center is the only one, only thing that is actual home type speaker and you can tell by the woofer what brand that is and then I'm running everything off of a Yamaha um, receiver uh, 7.1 receiver 7 actually 7.2 receiver um, so I'm actually watching Godzilla vs King Kong and and just to tell you why I went with car subwoofers I know the hardcore audio guys are gonna look at this and be like oh my gosh this guy's dumb um, yeah, I mean, I, I could have gone with SVS, monolith type uh, subwoofers, but the cost was just too too much for my taste. Um, you know, $1,200, $1,500 for one sub. Um, yeah, I'm sure it would have sounded incredible too, but I just wanted to do something different. You know, something out of the ordinary is, is what I wanted to do. Uh, instead of, you know, just being like everyone else and getting the SVS subs and all that stuff. And plus, I'm into car audio. I have car audio in my car, obviously, and then I have uh, subs that I've had laying around in here. I play with different subs, and as a matter of fact, I just I just bought this 15-inch um, Audio Legion 600 RMS sub to replace a Monoprice 15-inch sub. Paid 69 for that thing. Really, 69? I mean, where else are you gonna get a 69 sub for home theater? Um, you know, 600 RMS at that. Very hard, very hard to get a uh, something like that at that price point. Um, anyhow, guys, so uh, let's just watch a little bit more of of this movie, uh, the subs flexing. If you have any questions or comments, let me know.